When it comes to premium smartphones, two brands that always stand out are Apple and Google. With the recent releases of the iPhone 16 Pro and the Pixel 9 Pro, the competition has never been tighter. Apple introduces its A18 Pro chipset for next-level performance and the camera control button for intuitive photography, while Google's Gemini AI takes the Pixel's photography and day-to-day -day tasks to new heights. In this comparison, we'll explore how these two phones stack up in terms of design, performance, and cutting-edge features. Starting with the design, the iPhone 16 Pro maintains its luxurious black titanium frame and thin bezels, thanks to Apple's innovative design, which reroutes the display traces beneath the screen for a more seamless look. The ceramic shield is another standout, offering twice the durability of any other smartphone glass. In hand, it's sleek and familiar, but still feels like a refined evolution of the Pro lineup. On the other side, the Pixel 9 Pro sticks to its signature, refined design, with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protecting the front and back. It's compact and comfortable, standing out with its range of colors like rose quartz and hazel while still retaining the classic obsidian option. The 6.3-inch Super Actua LTPO OLED display shines brightly with a peak brightness of 3,000 nits, making it a powerhouse in terms of visibility. Moving on to the displays, both devices offer 6.3-inch OLED panels but they've taken different approaches in terms of technology. The iPhone 16 Pro features a Super Retina XDR display with incredibly thin bezels, providing more screen real estate without making the phone bulkier. The contrast is exceptional, colors pop vividly, and it's ideal for both media consumption and productivity. Meanwhile, the Pixel 9 Pro is equipped with a Super Actua LTPO OLED display and boasts an impressive peak brightness of 3,000 nits, making it one of the brightest screens on the market. The 120Hz refresh rate on both devices ensures smooth scrolling, but Google's variable refresh rate adjusts to save battery when not in use. Now, onto one of the most important factors for many users, the camera systems. The iPhone 16 Pro introduces a 48-megapixel main sensor capable of recording 4K video at 120 FPS in Dolby Vision, which is the highest combination of resolution and frame rate on any smartphone. Apple also upgraded the 5X telephoto lens, which was previously exclusive to the Pro Max models, allowing for great zoom capabilities. The 48-megapixel ultra-wide lens is a fantastic addition to macro photography, making this phone a photographer's dream. The new camera control button is also an intuitive addition, giving quick access to different camera settings with a tactile, haptic response. But Google's Pixel 9 Pro isn't far behind, with its 50-megapixel primary camera, 48-megapixel ultra-wide, and 48-megapixel telephoto lens. With 5x optical zoom and 30x super-res zoom, you get a versatile photography setup that's enhanced by AI-driven features like Magic Editor and the Add Me mode for creative photo manipulation. Additionally, the 42-megapixel selfie camera outperforms most competitors, making it a solid option for content creators. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro is powered by Apple's new A18 Pro chipset built on a 3-nanometer process. With a 6-core CPU, 6-core GPU, and 16-core neural engine, this chipset promises blazing fast performance across all tasks, whether you're editing videos, gaming, or multitasking. The upcoming Apple Intelligence update in iOS 18 will further enhance its AI-powered features with tools like Photo Cleanup and Advanced Writing Assistance. On the other hand, the Pixel 9 Pro runs on Google's Tensor G4 chipset with 16GB of ROM, but it struggles in comparison. While it's competent for day-to-day -day tasks, its multitasking performance lags behind the iPhone, and overheating issues can occur during extended camera use. The Tensor G4 may support Google's AI innovations, but its overall performance falls short of Apple's A18 Pro in demanding situations. Speaking of AI, this is an area where Google is pushing hard with its Gemini AI. This AI can assist you with everything from photo editing to real-time translations. The Magic Editor allows users to modify and tweak their images in ways that were previously impossible. However, the AI's constant presence can sometimes feel a bit overwhelming with Gemini Live occasionally missing the mark in conversation accuracy or suggesting outdated locations. Apple, on the other hand, 
is gradually expanding its AI capabilities. The upcoming Apple Intelligence System promises advanced features like Photo Cleanup, which will automate the process of removing unwanted objects from photos and writing tools for better document management. However, Apple's AI is more subtle and doesn't dominate the user experience as much as Google's Gemini. Both phones offer impressive battery life but with some key differences. The iPhone 16 Pro benefits from improved thermal management and the efficiency of the A18 Pro chipset, resulting in noticeably longer battery life compared to its predecessor. Expect solid, all-day performance, even with power-hungry features like 4K video recording. The Pixel 9 Pro also offers excellent battery life, lasting over 13 hours on a full charge during normal use. However, while Google advertises faster charging speeds, it doesn't quite live up to expectations unless you go for the Pro XL model. The iPhone 16 Pro starts at $9.99, while the Pixel 9 Pro comes in at the same price point. However, the iPhone 16 Pro starts with 128GB of storage, which may feel limiting for those who record a lot of 4K video, but higher storage options are available. The Pixel 9 Pro offers similarly priced configurations but with AI features that make it stand out in unique ways. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro are flagship phones in every sense of the word. The iPhone excels with its blazing performance, refined video capabilities, and the Apple ecosystem. The Pixel 9 Pro, however, stands tall with its AI-driven photography, unique software experience, and smarter integration with Google services. So, what's it going to be? Apple's powerhouse or Google's AI-driven masterpiece? Let us know which one you're leaning towards in the comments. Thanks for watching our video, like, and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.